Chief Sukarta Majumdar has written to Home Minister Amit Shah over violence in the state. Now, in this letter, he has alleged that the ruling BJP government uh, and the TMC top leadership is backing the writers. In the letter, Bengal Chief also accused the cops of turning a blind eye to the actual culprits. That's the word really coming in. My colleague Kamalika is joining us on the broadcast, getting us more details on that entire story. Kamalika, coming to you, a letter being written uh, to Home Minister Ramit Shah. Is there any specific demand which is being made? No, uh, the letter, uh, he is uh, praising the law and order situation of the state and specifically his complaint is against the police. He is of the opinion that the people whom are actually per who are the actual culprits are not being arrested and people who are not being uh, culprits, who are innocent, they are being arrested and because they, are, they do BJP, that's what the claim of BJP is. Over 50 arrests has taken place in Rishra and it consists of both the uh, sides that what we are getting it from the uh, police sources, that's their claim is. But BJP uh, clearly, he is, uh, the letter which he has written to Home Minister and uh, as I am talking to you, Shukanta Majundar is on his way to Raj Bhavan and he is also going to give the same complaint to Raj Bhavan. On the other hand, Lockett Chatterjee, MP of uh, MP, he is she is coming uh, to Risha once again. Now, what we are getting it from my sources that she is going to take a train route and come to Risha. Whether she can go inside, that's a big question that we'll have to see. But specifically, uh, Home Minister, uh, uh, we know that Biman Ghosh who was injured that day, he wrote to Home Minister and this is uh, Shubendu Adhikari wrote to Home Minister and this is the second time that Chukanto Mojundar, he has also now written a letter to the Home Minister. Alright, Kamalika, as you, as you get us all the details, um, the intervention of the centre citing law and order situation and the alleged bias role of the authorities under the TMC government is not a new narrative from the side of the BJP. Earlier in the post-poll violence, you had the intervention of the High Court coming in. You reported about that PIL as well. That is fine, uh, filed by Savendu Adhikari in which a response has been sought from the state government and they'll have to file the papers. That hearing is also going to be very critical. NIA probe is sought into the matter. But it's symbolically, politically very important that all these concerns are being raised to the Home Minister. And more importantly, the Governor is also in action, Kamalika. Yeah, obviously, the BJP leaders, they are constantly, they are sending letters to the Home Minister. Obviously, uh, the Governor today said that he will see, he will assess, and then he will analyze. And then, probably, in the last incident of Howrah, uh, a report, uh, he yeah. has sought a report from the uh, Home Secretary of the state. So, uh, it is expected that he will definitely give a report to the uh, to the home Kamalika, minister. stay with us on the broadcast. Mr. Sukanta Majumdar is joining us on the broadcast. Mr. Majumdar, thank you so much for speaking with us. Good evening. Uh, what is it that you have raised with the Union Home Minister? I have uh, written in the rep a report. Mot uh, mostly, uh, it is letter is nothing but a report regarding the present situation of the uh, Rishra and the adjoining area. Mm. The, even the yesterday night also, the writers write it. And they have thrown bombs and uh, uh, stone, uh, painted stone towards the rail, uh, rail uh, and the train. Rail compelled to stand on the different stations. Mm. And for three hours, they have been stopped in the different stations. And I have, I have written all these things in this letter. Now I am going to meet Honorable Governor of West Bengal, and I, we will uh, a delegation led by me will meet Honorable Governor of West Bengal, mm. and we will uh, also. In, uh, inform the Honorable Governor regarding the law and order situation of Rishra and adjoining area. As, the, as the West Bengal BJP President, you have the right to go and meet the Governor and highlight the concerns that you want the Governor to take cognizance of. But the Governor is already apprised of the situation. In fact, he hit the ground and he wanted to figure out what exactly is the police authority doing. But when you spoke to the Union Home Minister, is there a particular demand you've made of any kind of inquiry or any kind of intervention that you seek from the central government? Actually, we are proceeding to, uh, through proper channel. We will, uh, we will ask or urge upon the governor to forward that letter to the honourable uh, HM sir and uh, appropriate report along with that his own report mm. and uh, appropriate action will be taken by the 
uh, HM sir, I believe so. All right, Mr. Majumdar, uh, the TMC accuses you, uh, by you I mean to say the BJP, of stoking this violence for your own political benefits. The argument of the TMC is that it's only on the plank of polarization that BJP can make electoral inroads. They've been de defeated multiple times in the state of West Bengal. And all that's happening right now in Hooghly and in other parts is your political tactic. See, the Mahatma Energy before this Ramnavami, mm. he, uh, sorry, she first uh, indicated that this kind of uh, violence may take place in the Ramnavami. That means all the information was present with her, but she could not take any action or she uh, rather, I should say, she did not take any action deliberately. Not only that, in all the cases, the Ramnavami procession was attack, uh, attacked by the goons the rioters in different areas, mm. those are generally uh, generally known and uh, designated as the minority area by the CM herself. And CM also want the Hindus not to go through those areas. Mm. So this is the thing that means it is totally planned by Mamta Banerjee and the plan was done to reconsider, reconsolidate the minority vote bank of the well, sir, as far as sir, all said, I can say as, as an objective person is that if the politics has interfered with the law and order administration in the state, then there's a petition before the High Court and let's see if the High Court decides to intervene into this matter. For now, a report has been sought. BJP continues to build up the pressure that we need some kind of intervention from the union government or from the governor's office. Proper channels are being pursued.